hello everyone welcome back to the channel so today we are going to discuss one of the most demanding topic on my uh, youtube channel is that phone pay api and a lot of people has asked me to develop the phone pay api based on Django. exactly so as you can see if you search google the phone pay the top three uh, youtube videos are all mine here i have done it on node.js i have done it on python normal python with um, uh, a framework and now uh, i have done with the laravel as well but uh, people were asking for uh, django so why well, thought uh, to give it a try uh, today so i would complete that request as well so as usual the phone pay api uh, this is the official documentation of the phone pay api and a lot of people ask me why this is not working on the production so production url is this one uat urls are this one uat api url are this one so these are the url that need to be checked out and if you scroll down these are the parameters that has required so basically this is the checksum formula we will come to the code and see also this is the checksum formula and uh, the things that are required here is merchant id merchant details and amount and everything is here so this is the object that we are going to process again okay and once this formula created a base 64 equivalent value and the sha and the salt key and the um, salt key and the salt index are all given so these are the basically the things that required to be making the request to the phone pay api so first we see what is the application again my old application this is the same interface for the last four videos so uh, if you click on this phone pay it will take you to this page if you click on this one click on this one submit confirm the first one is the successful payment written and the second one is the response that has created successful so these are the two different things that i am showing here so i will come to the code this is the absolutely uh, the same thing is happening on my other tutorials as well which is on um, python normal thing the flask a uh, framework the node.js and the also with laravel as well now coming to the code I'm using sublime to show you you can use anything you want doesn't matter so this is the uh, these are the packages that I required for this there are some there are few packages that are from Django uh, few are from my old Python tutorials that I have taken okay so one of the CSRF exemption is uh, one of the package that is required newly required it is not required in Python uh, flask but it is required here absolutely so uh, these are the my two helper functions that are creating the checksum values so hash 256 and you can see i have i have all this import in done here and uh, the first thing is that my index uh, function that is actually showing the things out so let me first also give you the urls as well yeah yeah so i've imported the url here and one for the basic route and now also imported urls actually the my urls are coming from the here so uh, phone pay api urls are all here setting up in django and the same payload the uh, redirect mode should be post obviously and uh, here i face one problem is that if you if you remove this um uh slashes it will not work here you have to put the slash in other length other things um, i was not facing this problem but in this uh, django i was facing with this problem all things are the same here but uh in the flask uh the process of getting the request and the process of uh, processing the things are different in django it is a little bit of difference here request of forms i was processing but here request of post post i am processing exactly but uh, still the methods are all same i have just 
coded it down in certain areas i have just changed it otherwise the code is same with the flask and um, uh, this django part so nothing uh, huge has been changed over here so this is the payload and this is the index this is the endpoint this is the salt key that i was talking about and if you go you can find all these things here again salt key salt index endpoint everything is written on this okay so base 64 the main payload should be base 64 plus endpoint plus salt key should be sha calculation and that is doing by my helper file here i have calculated the sha so this is the tricky part the, if you can calculate this one it can be calculated in any language if you can calculate this uh, section it can be done either in node.js javascript uh, laravel php anything <clears throat> and uh, i am i'm converting that sh string to sh value now adding that index after that to create the checksum value once this section value is created i'm just posting this part is absolutely same as the um, uh, flask uh, api and uh, i'm putting the redirect it is getting redirected to it once this redirecting happening i'm getting the return once i get the return i collect the post value you can also check the post values here as well and obviously i am not checking a lot of the i'm just checking the transaction id but you shouldn't be checking the transaction id in the live url in the live environment obviously uh, you should check the amount that you have sent in the payload you should check the merchant id that is coming from the payload you should verify each and every details otherwise it would be very vulnerable to the hackers obviously and you uh, i have also mentioned this i have mentioned this in my every video that i have made yeah okay so i'm just uh, requesting again with this now this is the this api url has been changed so pgvi status and pgvi pay are two different urls sometimes people get confused on these two urls what to send what not to send this is this is the difference between them and i have put in this uh, statically but you shouldn't be putting this one this merchant id would be your merchant id for the live one obviously and you should also in the payload i am already getting the merchant id as well so you should verify this merchant id as well uh, on this if the if the correct margin is coming on through this process also okay again the sh calculation and the same thing is happening with my helper files okay once this sh calculation has been done okay the header configuration the checksum value the transaction id of the margin and once this is done i got the response and once i get the response as response.txt and from data.list that is the actual posting method that i'm processing with so from data the form data dot list will be coming over here so this is the entire code um for this i have not written any more uh, any more thing on this one i've just created a app phone app and you know in the settings i have just added the phone app so i'd be as usual i'll be adding this whole code in the description if you like my videos, do subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching this video.